guys what is going on welcome back again to another video today in this video we're going to take a look at moonin moonin at the time of this recording is the newest legend in the game he carries the sight and the bow two really nice weapons for combos i found some really nice combos for him but of course we're also going to take a look at his attacks some tactics with this guy and just my overall thoughts so before we get into this video please leave a like subscribe for more videos like this on all the brahala legends and then let's get on with the video First of all, as always, we're gonna take a look at Munin's main attacks. He has three main attacks with each of the weapons, the side signature, the down signature, and the neutral signature. First, let's take a look at the side signature like this. This side signature, I actually really quite like it. It has a really big range, as you can see. You can hit it from all the way back there to pretty close by. Not too close by, then you're gonna miss it. If you're standing like right next to them, then you're gonna miss them. Like somewhere like over here or something, you're gonna miss it, but that's pretty normal I think this is a really nice side signature then the down signature also quite interesting like this this one is really quite nice because you also jump backwards so you kind of dodge your enemy while you're performing this one it's really nice for edge guarding as you can see because you hit them downwards which is always great uh, you can even hit them when you're on the back of them like this you can still hit them but not too far if you're standing like somewhere over here you're gonna miss it of course and you also don't want to stand too far away because then you're going to miss it as well. So something like this. Yeah, you're going to miss it as you can see. But this is still a pretty nice down signature. Alright, and then the neutral signature like this. This one is pretty nice. It's good for some combos. It's always nice to have like something diagonally above you and a text there. So you can protect that part of your body. So I think this is a pretty nice neutral signature as well. Moving on to the bow, let's look at the side signature like this. This one is quite interesting as you jump upwards and hit three times downwards. The damage is quite high, but this one I do like it a little bit less than the side sick with the side because the range is a little bit smaller. It's harder to use it with strings and combos because it's kind of like a strange attack and you cannot really like use it when some when you already did some attacks or you cannot really use some attack afterwards. Uh, if you hit it far away, you're only going to hit the last part for really low damage, but it's still interesting to use from time to time. You can hit this one pretty close by, but not too close by, otherwise you will jump over them. Then for the down signature like this, this one is a really good defensive attack. As you want someone's inside of you or someone really gets close by, you can just really quickly use this one, which is really nice. You can use this one on the back and on the front, but as you can see, there are like two hitboxes. The range is not that big, but it's still really good for edge guarding and using it as a gravity cancel. Then last but not least, the neutral signature, and that goes like this. This one is pretty interesting. I should, it's kind of the same as Koji's neutral signature, who I'm fighting right now, which is quite interesting. But it's just you just shoot upwards, and that's it. It's really nice to use it as a defensive mechanism, and it's also nice to use in combos. So this one is pretty decent, but it's nothing crazy. All right, now it's time for the combos. This first combo is gonna be really easy. It's just gonna be a neutral light into a neutral signature with the sight, like this. As you can see, really easy combo, really nice follow up. The dodge windows are a little bit high, but still you're probably gonna hit this one pretty easily. It's just a really nice combo to use. When they're low on health, you can just use this one, kill them immediately. And it's just nice to get some damage on your enemy with this one. It's nothing special, but it's a good one to know. This next combo is going to be a little bit harder because you have to do a special kind of side light. You might be thinking, like, what do you mean? I mean that if you do a side light with the side, there are two different variants. There's this one I just showed you, and there's this one. The first one you do by holding down the side light button while doing the attack and the other one you do while releasing the side light button while you're doing the side light. We have to use this one, the one you hit upwards where you release the side light button while doing the attack. I hope that's a little bit clear, but the combo is going to be as followed. It's going to be a down air into a side light into a neutral signature. It's going to look something like this altogether. So as you can see, this is a really, really cool attack. It's kind of hard to learn in the beginning, but once you get a hold of it, it's really great and you're going to do some really nice damage to your enemies and it's a must learn for Moonin. Moving on to the bow combos, this first one's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be a down light into a down signature, something like this. 
as you see really nice easy combo but really really small dodge with frames which is really great as it's almost impossible to dodge while doing some really great damage which is always nice the down light is really easy to hit so if you just follow up with the down signature every time you're gonna do some really nice damage and you're really gonna mess up your enemy This next combo is kind of like a variation on the last one. It's going to be a downlight into a neutral signature, something like this. This one is really great to know as you can really hit your enemies really high upwards and pretty easily kill them if they're low on health. If they're like orange health or something, you can just kill them with this one really easily. So this is a great combo for that. Let me show you that for a second. If they're like on, let's say 110 health, you just do this one, bam, and you kill them really easily. Great combo, the dodge windows stay the same, doesn't matter what health they are, so this is a combo you must know if you're playing Moonin. Alright, this next combo is going to be quite hard as you do need to know how to chase dodge. If you're wondering what a chase dodge is, it's a dodge right after an attack. It's going to look something like this, as you see you boost forwards really fast. This combo is going to be a side light into a down light into a chase dodge neutral signature, which is going to look something like this. It's kind of hard to get the chase dodge right, but once you do, it's an amazing combo as these are low dodge windows and on high damage. For my overall thoughts about Munin, I think he's a pretty good legend. He's not the best, not the worst. He has some pretty nice attacks actually. I myself am not a big side player, but if you're good with the side, I think he's a really great legend to try to use. Just see how he works for you, see how you like his attacks, see if you can implement these combos I just taught you in your game and if they actually work for you. But yeah, that's it. I think you should try him out if you like his weapons. That's with most of the legends actually, but some of them are just really bad with like how the attacks they have. But alright, that was it for you guys for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.